sound? How nice did it feel for you, guys, especially after the injuries, get out there and contribute like that? Oh uh, man, I was just trying to win the game uh, and play play ball at a high level. And it's time when my when my name, when my jersey called, just go out there and execute at a high level. Byron, what's the season been like for you? You came in, you came off such a big year last year, and I'm sure that you had such high expectations, but just haven't been able to play a lot of the season. How, how's it been for you, kind of waiting that out and looking forward now to hopefully a bigger opportunity? Uh, just wait for my number to be called. Like I, like I said, I'm just waiting for my number to be called and come out and uh, contribute and uh, have fun with the guys, with my, with my fellow teammates, and execute at a high level and try to win games. With uh, Darnell's injury, Justin says it's not a challenge, an opportunity to grow with some other receivers. How, how comfortable do you feel right now with Fields and the offense? Oh man, like I say, I'm I'm coming to play play ball, and uh, this is what we do. We we all professionals, and I'm coming to, to contribute when my number get called. You talk about your number getting called now. Obviously, Mooney's off for the year. All the other, a bunch of the other receivers are all limited. It seems like you're going to get a great opportunity. What does this mean to you now for the rest of the season here that you will seemingly get opportunities to play? Uh, just come come in every day, working and uh, execute at a high level, and uh, take advantage of the opportunity. Justin said specifically that he's actually looking forward to the challenge of being just to get some more chemistry with other receivers. Uh, what does that say about Justin and his faith in you and the rest of the guys here? Uh, uh, Justin, a great quarterback, and he know what uh, each one, each receiver is capable of doing uh, when when they number uh, called upon, and uh, he just go, he just gonna go out there and execute and go through his reads and you know. Everybody take advantage of the opportunity when they come, to, come their way. When, you, when you've lost five in a row and then you start losing leaders like Jackson and Darnell, what, what, what would a win do for this room, do you think? Um, a win would be huge, you know what I'm saying? Especially given how hard you guys work, you know, we are shorthanded. Um, so we, we do know the task that's in front of us, but to be rewarded with the win uh, would do us really good. Chase, with Darnell going down, do you view this as an opportunity for you to take on a bigger role early? Uh, no, that was asked earlier. I don't, I don't ever think of it that way. I don't really like to think about myself when other people will get hurt. Chase, how is the wide receiver core tested? What's the challenge when there's quarterback uncertainty? Um, no, there's not, no, um, no, nothing different. You know what I'm saying? Like, the expectations are the same. The goals are the same. You know, the only thing that might be a little different is timing, but you just work on that after practice with the guys, which we do anyways. What are you seeing from Justin as he's – working through this injury and you know he's hopeful he can play on Sunday. Yeah, I'm um, seeing a type of resilience, you know, that you don't get from every quarterback, you know, like he is getting beat up and uh, he's bouncing back on his feet every single time. Um, I think that just shows like the kind of leader he is, you know, because he wants to see his team win and do well and he knows he's a big part of that. So, um, but he also knows he has to be smart. So, um, you know, there's a give and take with that. I just think, you know, time with the offense, you get familiar with things. You don't have to think as much when it comes to, like, your assignments and your alignments and stuff like that. And then the timing. How important is that when, when you're out there to try maybe not be thinking so much when you're running your run? You well, yeah, I feel like if you're thinking a little too much, you could be looking for clues. Uh, it's like what you have, like, if you're not 100% sure. But uh, if you just know exactly what you have, where you're going, you can start looking at the defense and thinking about what you're going to do. Awesome. Nice to be out, the timing of the quarterback, all those things. So it really just comes down to trust and, you know, kind of just figuring it out in the game. Does it hit you any different when you line up on a Sunday and it's the Packers on the other side? Yeah. I mean, that's uh, that's the game I grew up watching. You know, I love watching. So, um, yeah, this is a, a big rivalry and a, a big game. And, you know, regardless of the records of the two opponents, it's it's always big. So, um, definitely looking forward to it. What's your first memory of like? Oh, geez. Games? <laughs> unfortunately, un yeah. Unfortunately, there's <laughs> unfortunately sometimes they're not great memories, but <laughs> hopefully we can create some of those. Yeah. But when you've lost leaders and you've lost five in a row, and now you have an opportunity against mm -hmm. the Packers team, what would a win mean for you guys? Yeah, I think it just you know obviously uplift everybody in the locker room. Um, you know we've been staying positive this whole time, but um, you know a win at home uh, this Sunday going into the bye week would, would be big for sure. Is it, is it mentally challenging though when you know somebody lost and just so many guys going down as well? Yeah, no, it's tough. I mean, you're losing key guys, leaders in the locker room. So, uh, you know, like I said, you got, guys got to step up and kind of fill those roles and, and be able to set that standard at practice. I promise you this is a Yeah. How just
You look good. I'll keep it at that. <laughs>